Good morning to the members of the uh, Office of Lawyers. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to introduce uh, Professor Terry Lamb, Professor of Language and Interdisciplinary Pedagogy from the University of Westminster, who's also going to read the, the message for today. Thank you, Mera. Um, I'd like to start with um, a personal note, a personal thank you for having invited me into your community today. It's a great pleasure to revisit your community. I say revisit because 30 years ago I was the head of languages at Highgate Wood School, just then broke. I wonder how many of you have invited me to Highgate Wood School. Um, I thought it may be full of my ex students. So. Um, maybe, maybe not. Um, but um, I, I'm always very grateful to that school and to, to the communities I worked with there um, because um, it was a school with 40 languages, and of course, as you know, the biggest percentage of the students there spoke Greek and Turkish. And we introduced a really innovative curriculum whereby all of the children, when they arrived at the school, did tasters in French, German, Greek, and Turkish. And then after that, they could choose which language they took as their first language in school. Many of them took Greek, not just the ones that spoke to the school at home, but those who were monolingual English speakers or who spoke other languages. And when I asked them why, it was because learning Greek gave them the opportunity to use their language straight away, unlike the French and the German. Um, it really motivated them. They could understand what was going on around them. They could see the signs in the shops, they could hear it in the streets, and they, could, they thought they would be able to um, speak secretly with their friends using the language. Um, I'm not sure they got that far, um, but, but it was a great motivator. And to be honest, it was those experiences that launched my research in the area of multilingualism, linguistic diversity, and particularly the languages of our communities. So uh, that's a personal thank you, it's really great to be back here. Um, but I am here today to represent the University of Westminster, and I'm very proud to do so. Um, I've only been at the University since September, um, but it is was such a good move. Um, Westminster is recognized as the most diverse university through several studies, not only in the UK, but also in Australia, New Zealand, and the United States. It's an extremely diverse university, um, not only because we have 165, uh, the, the international students of 165 different countries, but also because Westminster draws on all of the diverse, linguistically, culturally, ethnically diverse communities of London. People come from all over London to study because we're at the very centre of London. And it makes it a vibrant, um, multicultural, multilingual university. And Petros and I have talked about how we can do some work and research um, on that area uh, within the university. So it's a very exciting place. Um, there's also a very strong history of language teaching in Westminster. Um, I, I can't say that it goes back to 1838, which is when the university, or then Polytechnic, was born. It was the first Polytechnic in the country. And the institution that helps all of the Polytechnics were based on the structures of uh, what made the uh, University of Westminster. So a very strong history of language teaching and both internally within the university but also externally to the public through the Westminster Professional Language Centre. The languages, um, and English of course, there's a lot of work on English language teaching as well as other areas of English studies. The Petros and I, I'm in modern languages and cultures, were both in the Faculty of Social Sciences and Humanities, which is one of the strongest faculties, I mean, well, if I say so myself, I think. We are one of the strong, I work with all faculties in the university, but um, Social Sciences and Humanities is a very, very strong faculty. Um, and uh, we are absolutely delighted to 
get funding, thank you to Petros, from the British Academy to work with the Cypriot community um, in, in a number of ways. Um, this is exactly what we should be doing. I'm looking to build on our work with different communities across London, so I'm sure I'll be coming back knocking on the door, um, but I think I've got fairly easy access to you all here. Um, I'm also delighted that Westminster um, is the new home of the Cyprus Centre, which is moving, well, has moved? Yeah. Has moved already from uh, London Metropolitan University. Um, so, um, thank you for that. And, and uh, with John Karolamos, the Station Centre, Alicia Karolamos as director, and of course, Petros Karolamos as the co director. So we look forward to great things, um, particularly the launch or the first event. Anyway, I hope I get a ticket. Um, and I hope to see you there to celebrate all of that. Um, I wish you all the best for today. It's a very, very important day, a very important issue that you've got